Black News, your news source for the latest report beaming forth from planet Earth, where humanity loves nothing more than being entertained, amused, entranced, enthused and enthralled by a popular global ritual commonly known as sport. That's right, sport. For as we talk, a third of all humans are tuned in with volume turned up to the biggest of all sporting events, the World Cup, which is being hosted in football's very own mecca, Brazil. Citizens there must be delighted and thrilled, so join us as we'll cross to Rio to speak to one of the happy people. Oi, galera, tudo bem? Tudo ótimo. And you? Não, tudo terrível. Everything terrible, but why? Not enjoying o jogo bonito? Futebol is beautiful, but there's corrupção here that's evil. Corruption? Tem certeza. When we heard about the World Cup, we said beleza. But from São Paulo and Rio to Fortaleza, the people are in need of educação, saúde, habitação, comida. But instead, our taxes are used to feed the piranha feed. Hold it right there. They're here! You are under arrest. Ay, carajo! Stay calm, soccer fans. We have enforced and restored peace. Please continue to enjoy World Cup 2014. What's this here? We have taken control of Brazil, Bom Dia. And you are? William de Berg, representing FIFA. Uh, welcome back, Bill. So is the World Cup bringing joy all round? It is bringing us slank amounts, and that's what counts. Check out bank accounts. This is the biggest world coup of all time. 30 billion bucks, more than all three previous cups combined. It seems Brazilians would prefer FIFA quality home. Instead, better schools and hospitals. They're striking, calling protests. Ah, nonsense. We're bringing them order and progress. Having mass evictions, cleaning the streets of all the homeless. Ah, gentrification. Those favelas are on prime real estate. You see, the World Cup provides a perfect pretext these days to take away liberties and impose a police state, increased surveillance, special forces, laws and courts to prosecute protesters. And all these measures will remain long after the end of the festival. But won't Brazil be left with chaos and tremendous debt to owe? Sure, that's why our stadiums were designed with a special second row, to be converted into massive prisons after the final whistle blows. Incredible! These are just a piece of the benefits FIFA brings to Brazil, and that is why many others compete to host the World Cup as well. Russia, you're next to foot the damn bill. And then me and Sepp Plata will take the show direct to... The Slave Kingdom of Qatar. Now hang on, Mr. De Berg. I'm no expert. I'm aware of this. But I thought this sport was supposed to be all about fairness. Why did you think that we call it the World Game? Um, you see all those fans out there in the ranks are watching TV, backing their team, chanting ole, giving their flags a passionate wave. They think they're spectators, but in fact they're in the actual game. They are? Let's get the true score in the match of the day. Or chatting with national team captains. You know, Tony Abbott. Dark match? Uh, not really, uh, Billy. We've, uh, used the best tactics and come away with the, uh, victory. The opposition didn't really stand the chance tonight. That's right. You might have expected the Australian people to have a bit more fight. But their fatal own goal was to vote Tony in the last election. Because even though the Australian economy was the, uh, envy of everyone, and we sailed through the GFC with, uh, AAA rating, I still slashed the budget for pensions, unemployment, health and education by making up some crap about fiscal emergency. A fake dive. That's even better acting than the Italian team. This strategy should, uh, put us ahead in a world game. Cause without education, the next, uh, generation of strains will most probably become a bunch of ignorant fuckwitted suppositories. Even more obsessed with sport. That's great for the economy. Spoken like a true world game captain. But will Australia be champion? What about the result in your match, Mr. David Cameron? Fair play Aussies? Not bad. Giving the people minimal funding. But to really give them a thumping, you need a criminal function. That's what England's got in the form of the elite city of London, whose bank has catalyzed the GFC with their corrupt international plundering. But we don't punish them. Instead, we stiff the English people with penalty kicks and impose a rigid round of society-killing austerity hits. Plus, we corner them with poor diet, poor education and tabloid media images, making those idiots blame their situation on the poor and on immigrants. Excellent game, but now the heavyweights are ready to play. First the USA, acting captain John Kerry, secretary of state. Billy boy, we might suck balls at soccer, but we dominate the league table and beating down our own people. Lethal, what's your game plan procedure? We seek to outmaneuver them in every position we take up. In defense, we use illegal homeland surveillance of data. In the midfield, we possess the best strikers and propaganda. They've even managed to convince folks that Snowden's a traitor. Heck, we've scored so many goals against Americans. The other teams are scrambling to imitate us, but they barely can. Don't speak too soon, John. There are some strong players in this game. Like last tournament's reigning champions, Spain! Hola, somos en números rojos. 
the Spanish home team Soy Mariano Rajoy, el capitán In 2010 we took the football trophy But our biggest victory was to squeeze public liquidity And to deprive el pueblo, not just of money, but of their dignity Now our unemployment is the best Two in three youths feel the strain Of no job or prospects of change unless they choose to emigrate That's an even better score than Greece when they led the way The others are not bad But Spain's the true champions of the world game World game? <laughs> Wait till I make the world's climate change Raise austerity Print more money 98% So much passion But which will be the winning team? Don't you see? They are all winners That is why we sing We will just say to the sky And live the side side Show the world where you are born Show the world we are won The whole world's our game And we can waste the whole world Whole world to play These flags were made So you fight yourself Instead of us and the world Whole world's our game One night with the world divide Two sides, one fight And a million lies You tired gonna get screwed hard Two ugly people Peace up to the sky Hey, hey Fascist, fascist Come on, sing with me Hey, hey, hey I'm listening to this genetic Hey, hey, hey Come on now Hey, hey, hey Come on now Hey, hey, hey 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 Come on, slay. So don't be shy. Show the world where you are from. Show your own. You earn your baby. Show the world we have won. One, one, one. It's my world, our world, the whole world's our game. Well, viewers, our coverage of the World Coup is finishing. Boa noite, Brazil, and good luck to you. For another ordeal is imminent. Once this concludes, you'll have to go through the Olympic predicament. Rest assured, we'll be back with another report to deliver then. So, what does our love of sport say about the world we're living in? Perhaps we crave its ideals of fairness, its level playing fields, its respect for the law's limits, the fact that the rules are legitimate, and, unlike in life, clearly written and known to all participants. If we play by those principles, not just in the stadium, but day to day in our courtrooms, boardrooms and government chambers, it would truly be a game changer on the actual world stage. Now in that sport, you could count me as an avid fan. Good day.